But do you know what I'm going to show you today? Clarence Williams III on the Arsenio Hall Show on February 24, 1994. You love Arsenio because he's the one that goes, woo, 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 woo. Because he's from Cleveland and he's making Cleveland Browns dog pound noises. You haven't gotten into the dog pound yet, have you? Thank God. But this is a cool interview because uh, they talk a lot about the Mod Squad. And the executive producer, Lucille Ball, and his relationship with her. That, that's the best part for me. He talks about working with Prince in Purple Rain, where he played his dad. And he doesn't even really talk about the movie he's promoting, where he plays Wesley Snipes' dad, The Sugar Hill. But the Mod Squad stuff's great. So hopefully, when I edited this 29 years ago, I kept a lot of the woo 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 woo. Are you ready to be a dog? Uh, my next guest has been seen in such films as Deep Cover with Lawrence Fishburne. And uh, you remember him from Purple Rain as Prince's father? Yes. <laughs> but you first got to know him um, as Link in the Mod Squad, right? Please welcome, from the new movie, Sugar Hill with Wesley Snipes, this is Clarence Williams III. Yes. Yeah. The opening of my squad make people bug out. Watch you know? yourself grow young. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> now, let's see, where, where should we start? Uh, did you do Mod Squad on this lot, somebody? Told yeah, you? yeah, this side of the lot was called Desilu back in those days, as you well know, and the other side was uh, the Marathon, the Paramount side. Yeah. And we shot right on the side with Lucy was all the way at the end, mm -hmm. and we were a little bit up further. It was great. I used to see her drive a car, golf cart to work every day. Yeah, so, so, I mean, what kind of lady was she? Did she ever she stop super. and talk? Yes, yeah, she did. She stopped many, many times mm -hmm. and talked. And um, in fact, one I remember is that uh, when she had Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor guest starring on her show, you know, she had invited me down to watch the taping of it. And so it was quite nice. Yeah. So when you come back here, um, do you get like, like chicken no, skin? No, and, no, no. You know, you yeah. just, just don't miss it at all. You, no. See, I'm oh, going. No, it was great. It was a place to work. You know, it was, mm -hmm. this is a factory and that's all it was. Yeah. 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 But it now, was a good one. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's still a factory. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and I'll just move on. Okay, yes. Uh, when you were going through this period, you were like a huge star. Um, you probably couldn't go anywhere without people recognizing you. Oh, sure. Especially with that Angela Davis afro. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you had that big afro. How did they choose you for the role? Uh, I was recommended to Aaron Spelling by Bill Cosby. Oh. Yeah. I was, okay. doing, I was doing a show on Broadway called Slow Dance on the Killing Ground mm -hmm. in New York City, and uh, Mr. Cosby and his wife, they came to see it. And, uh, and they didn't come backstage, anything like that. They just left after the show, and the stage manager told me that Bill Cosby was in the house. And so I was kind of depressed. I said, wow, the guy didn't come back, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. And about two weeks went by, and I got a phone call in a little tiny apartment that my girlfriend, later on my wife, and I had in Greenwich Village. And, uh, and it was uh, somebody from Aaron Spelling's office right here on the lot saying that uh, there will be an airline ticket for you to come to California to do a screen test. Mm -hmm. And back in those days, they had a show called The Danny Thomas Hour. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and they gave me a part in there. So I had the great good fortune of doing my screen test with Richard Kiley, Ann Baxter, Bradford Dillman, Pedro Amendares, some sensational people. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that took us about a week, 10 days to shoot. And one night, right on the Marathon side where they used to have a, a lumber yard, I don't know if it's still there, uh, Spelling drove over there in his car one night around 10 o'clock. We're shooting night for night. And he got out of the car and he walked up to me and he says, I'm doing a new series, you have the part of Link. That's deep. Yeah. So, so when you went out on the street, uh, how did they respond to you? You know, it's, uh, when you do a television series, you don't really get an idea of what the impact is because you're doing it every day. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then one day I was invited to... Uh, to participate in the Watts California Parade. And, uh, and I said, sure, okay. And uh, this is many, many, many years ago. We're going back easily 23, 24 years ago. And, uh, and so I was in the parade and the people were sensational. 
But the real impact came in the parade. They had about four or five buses of, uh, of elderly people, shut-ins, who couldn't march in the parade, but they wanted to participate. And so one of the parade marshals asked me, would I get out of the car and go in the bus and say hello to the people? Mm -hmm. And I did, and it just staggered me how, how they enjoyed it, how much they watched it, you know, and sort of like uh, being shut in, you know. And this was the excitement that came into the day room or the recreation room, whatever they call it, the green room, if you will, uh, of the shut-in home. So it was great, absolutely. Wow. Um, we used to do a lot of benefits during that period because it was during the turbulent 60s. Yeah. So uh, Jesse Jackson used to have... Uh, this big rally in Chicago, Cooperation Push, and all of those things. So we used to make appearances at that as well, my wife and I, and among other people. Yeah. Just very quickly, okay, Marla, I know I only have a couple minutes. Very quickly, uh, we got a lot of response when I mentioned Purple Rain. Yeah. Face to face, <laughs> face to <laughs> face to face on a set with Prince. What's that yeah. like? Really quick, when I got the job, and this is going to really, really tell a, a negative story about me. I didn't know who the guy was. You know, I really did. I didn't know who the guy was. And then I find out that this is one of the most phenomenal musicians and, and, and artists there is. Working with him was sensational. He's one of the most professional people that I've had an opportunity to work with, actor and or musician. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I, we shot in Indianapolis, I mean Minneapolis, and, uh, and it was great. One night we shot a lot of our scenes at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So there was no one on the set but he and I and the crew. And, uh, and I'm very quiet when I'm working on a set because I'm focused on what I'm attempting to do. And I, and I understand his behavior patterns are similar. Mm -hmm. But there was an acoustic guitar laying down on the floor. Yeah. And so I'm sitting back in my chair with my eyes kind of closed, just relaxing. And he picked it up, and I was still this way, and he started playing, and my mind just flashed from a friend of mine, and I thought I was listening to Jimi Hendrix. Oh, I mean, it's just that beautiful is what he does. Yeah. But I don't know him as a person, just as a, as a co-worker. Yeah. Um, this new movie, Sugar Hill, I've heard good things about it. Why don't you set up this clip for me? Uh, the clip that they're going to show is uh, it's a scene between Mr. Snipes and myself. And uh, a, lot of, a lot has transpired in the beginning to lead me to the person that I am today. And now my son is getting involved in some activity, and I'm trying to tell him something that he has to do mm -hmm. in order to avoid the pitfall that I'd fallen into. Okay, Sandy busted. You know, when I got back from the hospital... <laughs> Sugar Hill opens nationwide tomorrow. I'll be right back with Johnny. Thank you for watching Cleveland Live Music. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. There's further patronage information in the video descriptions below. Thanks for all the support and making the channel grow.